we have a lot of matrices associated with graphs. We will take a look at the important such matrices. First one is adjacency matrix. We can represent a graph using an adjacency matrix if it is unweighted. We will discuss what weightedness and unweightedness is after this. The second one is weight matrix. It is very similar to adjacency matrix but it is used for weighted matrix. And the third one is incidence matrix. It again is a representation of such graphs. We will take a look at the adjacency matrix first. In this example graph, we have vertex 1 connected to 2 and 4, vertex 2 connected to 3 and 5, vertex 3 connected to 2 and 4 and so on. So how can this be represented as a matrix? So basically in an adjacency matrix, we have the rows and columns represented by vertices. So vertex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly vertex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the basic assumption is that a vertex is not adjacent to itself. So basically one is not adjacent to itself. So if a vertex A is adjacent to vertex B, MAB will be 1 and MBA will also be 1. So basically it's a symmetric relationship. If 1 is adjacent to 2, then obviously 2 is also adjacent to 1. So if you see in this matrix, the diagonal elements will all be 0 because of the assumption that vertex A is not adjacent to itself. So basically vertex 1 is not adjacent to itself. As we saw in the graph, it is adjacent to 2. Vertex 1 is adjacent to 2 and to 4. So basically 1, 2 and 1, 4 are 1 and the others are 0. Similarly, we fill in the adjacency for the uh, rest of the vertices. So basically 2 is adjacent to 1, 3 and 5. So 2 is adjacent to 1, 3 and 5 and so on. And one very important property of the adjacency matrix is that it cannot represent weightedness. So basically in a graph, an adjacency matrix can represent the connectedness of a graph, but if it has a cost attached to it, say this is 4, it cannot represent that. So that is represented by a weight matrix. So another important property of the adjacency matrix is that it's symmetric because adjacency as a relation is a symmetric relation because if 1 is adjacent to 2 then 2 is adjacent to 1. So now we will discuss the second kind weight matrix. So if you see in this graph which is the same uh, as the previous example, I have attached weights to the different edges. So the edge between 1 and 4 costs 2 and so on. So in this matrix the only difference is that instead of 1's we attach the weights. It, uh, in the adjacency matrix, it will if there is a 1 in M A comma B, it represents that A is adjacent to B. In the weight matrix, if there is a non-zero value in M A comma B, the cost between the, it 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 means that there is an edge between A and B, and the cost of the edge between A and B is the non-zero value of. It. So next we will see the third type, the incidence matrix. So we attach labels to the edges in the example graph E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. So here we see another definition called the degree of a vertex. So the degree of a vertex V is defined as the number of edges incident on the vertex V. So if we see in the example, uh, let's take vertex 3. So the number of edges that touch 3 in this example are 2, E3 and E5. So the degree of the vertex 3 is 2. So if you now come to the incidence matrix, 1 the rows represent the vertices and the columns represent the edges. So basically the first column is edge 1 and the value of this uh, column will be 1 wherever it is incident on. So basically edge 1 if you see uh, in the example is incident on vertex 1 and vertex 2. So in the matrix it will be 1 for V1 and V2 and the rest will be 0. So we fill in in the same manner for the whole matrix and the important points to note in this uh, matrix is that the sum of the column will always be 2 because an edge is always incident on two vertices. So if you see 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 and so on. And the sum of the row will be equal to the degree of the vertex because edge 1 and edge 2 are incident on v1. So basically two edges are incident on v1. So if you see the sum of this is 1 plus 1 which is 2. Similarly, if you take vertex 5, 
only edge 4 is incident on vertex 5. So, if you sum the row up, the answer is 1. So, that is the degree of vertex 5.